This is the aftermath of an attack on Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, Iran's leading nuclear expert. He was gunned down while in a vehicle with his bodyguards on Friday, just outside of the capital Tehran. At first, the car carrying him was shot at. And about 15 seconds later, a Nissan pickup truck that was loaded with explosive blew up about 15 metres away from the car, inflicting wounds on him that led to his death. Iran's leaders are already vowing to take revenge. Foreign Minister Javad Zarif called on the international community to condemn what he called an act of state terror. The Iranian nation is smart and wise enough not to fall into the conspiracy trap of the Zionists. They are pondering on stirring chaos and unrest. They must know that we are aware of their plot and they won't be successful in accomplishing their wicked goals. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack, but U.S. and Israeli intelligence have long said Fakhrizadeh was the head of Iran's covert nuclear weapons development program, something Iranian officials deny. In 2018, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu publicly warned of Fakhrizadeh's involvement in such a program. That's even though the UN nuclear watchdog said the program was closed in 2003. Remember that name, Fakhrizadeh. So here's his directive. It's right here. And he says, the general aim is to announce the closure of Project Ahmad, but then he adds special activities, you know what that is, special activities will be carried out under the title of scientific know-how developments. Critics say Fakhrizadeh's assassination can curb Iran's nuclear ambitions in the short term. Uh, I would say that his uh, assassination is a major, uh, major uh, loss for the Iranian regime Though I would not suggest that that would put an end to the kind of uh, threats that people perceive from the Iranian nuclear program, because that is something that will go on uh, until such time that some sort of a negotiated settlement is reached. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden assumes office in January. He remains a proponent of the Iran nuclear deal signed under the Obama administration in 2015. President Donald Trump withdrew from the deal three years later and in January ordered the assassination of Iran's military commander Qasem Soleimani. In a year now bookended by the killings of two of Iran's most senior operatives, the threat of a serious confrontation in the region seems to be growing. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World.